What up YouTube? Today I have a first impression for you guys and I am super excited about it. I would have to say um, when I first heard about it or when I seen pictures of it, I fell in love. I'm already talking about it and I haven't even showed you guys what it is. That's how excited I am. So, so I just got the box yesterday. I haven't opened it yet, but it is... So it comes with a card and it says, Hey guys, I hope you love the Kim Kardashian West and Kylie collab. I'm so excited for you to try my four fave nudes and I have a surprise coming soon. XOXO Kim Kardashian West. So I also got Kylie's metal lipstick in the shade Air. I've been wanting to try to play around with metal lipsticks, so I will be saving that for later. This tutorial is all about these. This is the Kim Kardashian West and Kylie collab, her cream liquid lipsticks. And here they are. So I am totally obsessed with the packaging, first of all. Um, for me, that was like, I have to have it. I love how it's matte and it's pink. You know, Kylie's packaging is usually black. When Kylie did her collab with Chloe, her packaging was gold. Loved it. The pink matte to die. I am obviously going to swatch these on my lips so you guys can see. It is a cream formula, so it is very different than what Kylie normally has for her liquid lipsticks. Let's just get to swatching, right? Stop talking, shut up, and let's just get to swatching. I totally had planned to do a natural look and obviously, obviously I achieved that today. But I figured even with this halo smoky eye, nude lips look very complimentary to it. So the first shade I am going to swatch is Kimberly. I do feel like there's not too much of an opaqueness to the color. I feel like it looks really streaky and I did have to go into the tube about three times to get what I got but I like how it looks especially with this look. It doesn't really make my lips look white. It gives it a nice pinky nude. Very nice with this eye look, I would have to say. Definitely not something I would normally go for, but I am considering it. So the next color I am going to try on is Kim, and it looks like more of a peach nude, so we will see how that looks. I feel like this is kind of the nude that I was talking about more than Kimberly, which I feel like Kimberly is lighter than Kim, but this is the one that I feel like would wash my lips out. Um, although there is more of a peach and pink undertone to it, it's more of like a baby doll pink. I do feel like I would have to do a very light look. For this look, I feel like it might be too pale. I might play around with it a bit more, but once again, it is still streaky. I don't feel like there's a lot of pigment to it, and it's very weird because Kylie's liquid lipsticks usually have a lot of pigment, but I like the creamy formula. So the next color we are going to swatch is Kiki. I feel like it's in the same color family as Kim. Definitely darker, but I feel like it's becoming more complementary to my skin tone. It's not pale looking, obviously. Definitely more pink. I feel like the first lipstick I swatched, which was Kimberly, was very nude. I did like the nude look of the lips so hopefully the last lipstick will have more of a nudeness and not too much of a pink still the same thing not really too much color payoff um still kind of streaky rub my lips together it moves obviously the formula is creamy i know that so it's not gonna stay in place it's just not as pigmented and not as opaque as i thought it would be so this is the last shade, which is Kimmy. It's definitely a lot darker and a lot more complementary to my skin tone. It's kind of a little darker than your everyday nude, but it's a nice color. I feel like there was a little bit more opaqueness to the lipstick. Still creamy, still feels very comfortable on the lips. And it's definitely a lot more warmer, but I do think that I will be wearing this color a lot more up often the other two colors i'm not too sure but i would say this is one of my favorite colors out of the bunch so i put kimberly back on i had to i feel like it complements this look so 
good. But my two favorites out of this whole collection would have to be Kimmy and Kimberly, which is the lightest and the darkest shade. I feel like the two middle shades are a little bit too peach or too pink for my liking. They kind of appeal too pale on my skin tone to me. But these ones, even though this one is the lightest one, it's more of a nude. It's not too much of a pink. It has a pink in it but it's more of a nude which is why I like it and as for the darkest one it has a very very warm undertone which I am a warm undertone so it complements my skin tone very well overall I would have to say the lipsticks are okay the opaqueness of it I guess I expect it to be way better coming from Kylie Cosmetics I've had a bunch of their lipsticks so they're so pigmented and so opaque and this one was just not there. I am all for the creamy consistency though I really really do like that aspect. Kylie's lips can be very drying so the creamy aspect changes it up a bit and I do like that about it. The colors I feel like are very different. To me they are. I don't feel like the two of them are the same in any way. It's just to give you guys an idea of the colors all by each other. So there you go. This is the darkest, and then this is the lightest. So Kimberly, Kim, Kiki, and Kimmy. And I like that it's a wide range of colors, like a different shade of nudes, because everyone likes nudes. It's complementary to a lot of skin tones. I normally wouldn't go for this kind of shade. And I probably, if I just did this look for Instagram and not even film this video, I probably wouldn't have even chose chosen this lip. Those are my thoughts. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't already, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. If you have this collection and you like it or you don't like it, leave it down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you want to follow me elsewhere, I am on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Brie K. If you want to see this eye look, there will be or already is an Instagram video on it. So I will put my Instagram name again here. So you guys here, so you guys can look me up and check it out. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next one.